Hello guys, it is the Gaming Boys all back again with another video. Today's video is going to be based on Corrupted Hollow Keys and the Tenant Melee Weapons. Now, Corrupted Hollow Keys are formed by playing Void Storms with your Railjack or killing your sister Lich inside of the Railjack segment. Here you will get a couple, uh, when I say a couple, I mean one to four, I think the drop rate is uh, when you kill them in the Railjack segment. But we have, of course, Proximas when you play Railjack. So we have Earth, Venus, uh, Neptune, Saturn, Pluto, and Veil. Vale. Uh, Earth and Saturn, uh, sorry, Earth and Venus will reward you with two Corrupted Hollow Keys. They have a 37.5% dropping, uh, so this is the same throughout all the uh, Proximas. The percentages don't change, just the number of keys do. The Neptune Proxima will reward you with three, the Saturn one will reward you with four, Pluto with five, and then Veil vale with six. So, pretty okay. I uh, The weapons, uh, if I remember correctly, do cost around 40, which is an okay-ish price. Uh, correct me if I'm mistaken, or I will in the comment section below. Uh, but honestly, I this is very tedious for me. I really get bored easily playing this, and I haven't even gotten one of these weapons. But I do want to make a guide for you guys, because some of you guys want to maybe get those tenant melee weapons. So, uh, I will be doing Skirmish inside of the Earth Proxima later down the line when you see the gameplay. I'm using... Uh, what's his name? Lavos, because he doesn't have any energy. And for you to actually cast your uh, Railjack abilities, I guess, you know, or tactical abilities, you do need to have energy. And Lavos, of course, doesn't have any, so you can infinitely cast these as long as they're charged up, of course. I think this does work with Hildren as well, but I'm not sure. And uh, yeah, Lavos is my perfect solo frame for these skirmish missions. Uh, these skirmish missions can last up, up to 8 minutes if you're playing solo. It really depends on the speed, your movement and everything. And how fast you kill these. Uh, these, I guess, actually could just complete the mission, not, not kill anything. Uh, and uh, if you're playing with a squad, I've actually managed to do these skirmish missions in around 3 to 4 minutes, which is pretty, pretty fast. Uh, now, if you're gonna play Veil, usually play, people play survival missions here, which will take you a little bit longer, but you do get six, uh, six, I guess, hollow keys, which is pretty cool. So, let me just show you my Railjack real quick, and then we'll move on to the gameplay. So, we have the Vidar Shields Array Mark III, Zekti Engines Mark II, the Vidar Flaming Mark III, and the Zekti Reactor Mark II. Um, I'm kinda, kinda sad at showing you this, because I honestly don't have any idea how to build my Railjack. This is just the best parts that I possibly have. I'm kinda making uh, the new engines right now. And uh, yeah, well, actually, let me just see which one of these, let me just inspect this one. And just continue. So this one will give me uh, 241 meters, and this, what does it, what, what, damn, this one, there you go, actually this, this one's much, this one's much better, okay, but never mind, uh, we have, for the weapons, we have the APOC Mark III as my main gun, we have the Secti Lathe Mark III as my secondary gun, and this Techno Seeker, which is something, uh, and for the mods, we have mostly speed and shields and armor, so we have Ironclad Matrix as, I guess, the Railjack Aura, which will give me hull and armor, and then max shields and shield regen. We have Koenig Nozzle, Ion Burn for mostly speed and speed boost as well. We have Cruising Speed, which will give me more speed within 300 meters of enemies. Well, when no enemies, sorry. We have Predator, we have Granum Nemesis, we have Overloader, we have Section Density, and Hyper Strike. Now, as I said, these are not in any way, shape, or form the ones that I recommend you use. I'm just showing you my build, just so it, you know, just so I show it. For the battle, I have Mutation Vortex, we have Tether, and we have Seeking Valley. Oh, Volley, sorry. Uh, this Seeking Volley is actually a really good mod, I have to say. Uh, it, it's really fun to use. These are Seeking Rockets, you'll see me using them in the gameplay. They're, they're really cool. And then for the tactical, we have Breach Quanta, and then we have Void Cloak. Um, and that's mostly it. Uh, for intrinsics, we have uh, command at level 8, uh, everything on level 7 except tactical. And then for my crew members, I have two crew members, one gunner, and two engineers. Uh, you get crew members by going into 
uh, what's it called? I actually forgot. Oh, uh, the Fortuna. Yes, there you go. Finally remembered it. And then you go to Fortuna, go to Ticker, and buy yourself some crewmates. So that's going to be really cool. You're going to need these if you're going to be playing solo because, you know, you're kind of leaving your spaceship alone sometimes. This guy's going mad. Uh, you're, you're leaving some your spaceship sometimes alone, so it's going to be very good to have uh, some crew members to help you out. So that's mostly it. Moving on to the actual gameplay. Okay, we're in the gameplay right now. I mean, there's honestly noth there's nothing much really to show you um, here. It's basically, the principle is destroy four cruise ships and then collect your reactant inside of these cruise ships, of course, and then go to the main little thing and then uh, later down the line, you're gonna get your end mission reward. Uh, I guess this gameplay is mostly for you guys to actually just check it out and see how it looks like if you maybe haven't played Real Drag or, or haven't seen how to do it and maybe don't know how to do it. It's uh, pretty plain and simple. All you really need to do is just, I guess, uh, be good at movement in Warframe and that's mostly it. I do recommend, as I said, modding your rail drag maybe for a little bit more speed, uh, just so you can finish these missions faster. Uh, do I recommend that you, uh, or do I, I guess, uh, consider uh, needing a very good arch wing? No, you honestly don't. You're not going to be playing in your arch wing that much, so it's not really that important. But uh, honestly, uh, you don't have to worry about anything. Just worry about your rail drag being at least decently good. Start off in Earth Proxima and then move on later down the line. And then you're going to get the sufficient amount of your hollow keys that you need to buy your first tenant weapon. So this is Bowen, mostly it for this guy. I hope you guys enjoyed. If I missed anything, leave it in the comment section below. And uh, maybe, uh, you know, some people might get something uh, new, some new information out of that comment. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, this is the Gaming Weasel. Hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys on the next one. The Gaming Weasel over and out.